I will try to go back and forth and answer your questions, but I will be uh, planting some raspberries in this row I just tilled up. Uh, give me a thumbs up that you can hear me. Appreciate the roses. Give me all the likes you can possibly do in order uh, to get this out there, but I will be planting some fall gold raspberries um, right now, and I'm gonna show you them as I'm putting them in the ground, number one, but number two, I'm also going to uh, kind of show you the process and how it works. Um, I'm in North Carolina, Harnett County, as a matter of fact. Uh, where are you from, Peach? Uh, but just kind of give y'all something to watch, kind of let y'all see how it works. Uh, but growing raspberries is pretty easy and it doesn't take a whole, whole lot. You can't kill them. They'll just keep multiplying. Uh, well, thank you for joining, uh, Peach. Um, Again, give me a thumbs up. I'm doing a giveaway too on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I am also um, I'm also giving away seeds for a garden. Uh, pretty much, you have to just follow me. And my most recent video that I posted, it's about five days ago that I posted. All you need to do is comment seeds and I'll just send you a message and try to get you some seeds sent out um, of whatever variety of seeds that you may want for your garden. Again, all you gotta do is just follow me on Instagram and I'll give you, um, and you gotta comment seeds and I'll try to give you some, some seeds. Um, but if you're just getting into the live, I'm gonna be planting some raspberries right here in this bed. I just tilled up right here in my backyard. I'll show you the greenhouse another day. Uh, yes, I do stake my raspberry bushes, um, but the key to growing raspberries, again, is mulch. That is all I can say a hundred times. If you mulch every uh, raspberry bush and just make it a row and put mulch all the way around them, about like, you know, two feet apart uh, from one side to the other, they will multiply throughout the winter and they'll start shooting up. That's why I sell everything in three packs, as a matter of fact, uh, is because really and truly you don't need that many. Uh, I'll sell you more if you want them, but really and truly, it really takes about three. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of my raspberry plants right now I'm, i know you're all going to laugh by the way i know you're all going to laugh because they look dead don't they they look absolutely dead okay but they're not they're actually just dormant you can see just because we got this short burst of uh weather a good weather 70 degrees here you're seeing a little bit of green here i don't know if you can see that or not but you will actually see um it don't take much they start shooting up and raspberries they're kind of like weeds they start shooting up through the mulch that's why i tell everybody um to basically plant a row when you plant a row put mulch between them and if you get three by the springtime if you give it um 60 days into winter uh by springtime you'll have probably five to ten to fifteen of them pop up from one single raspberry bush now again this looks dead but i promise you it ain't dead uh, again i'm doing a giveaway on instagram all you gotta do is follow me um uh, i'm also gonna be giving out plants later on too y'all uh not today but i will be doing it whenever i can uh, start sending them out with warmer weather uh thank you from boston uh it's nice and comfy inside on this couch i know it is to my wife holy cow this is the first time she's ever seen me on here um when can you start planting in kentucky you can actually plant these raspberries pretty much any time they'll find again just put mulch over them and the rest happens so you can watch you can ask questions uh, it may be boring i'm sorry if it's boring i'm not going to try to keep you all on if you don't want to watch that's fine uh, but you can see all this stuff i'll try to post a tiktok video on it as well um because i got another camera rolling and it probably won't be that great of a video, but I'll still show you kind of the process to growing raspberries. And yes, they're not dead, I promise. Again, I can show you. This is just one of many that are gonna pop up come March. They're gonna be popping up everywhere and I'm gonna have all the raspberries I want. And I appreciate the kisses, wife. I really do, I really do. I'm glad someone thinks I'm hot in here. Um, anyway, if y'all got any questions, let me know. But you will see when I'm planting these, I'm taking these actually out of the container and I'm digging a hole. You will see I'm adding um, 
blood meal and bone meal to every hole and then i'm covering them with mulch that is it just filling in the hole cover them with mulch that is it not don't take too much at all to grow these things and i will update you the moment they start popping out of the ground throughout the springtime because it's going to take one and the next thing you know i'll have at least a hundred um with with maybe five to ten raspberry bushes you can have a hundred in one year uh what area do i live in i live in north carolina do i stake them now i go ahead and put them in the ground number one um and then i come back behind them and i trellis them with basically you know um i don't know the term for them um they're like five foot uh electric fence posts that you see everywhere in north carolina for horses and stuff um appreciate all the likes um yes you can do this in tennessee these things will grow easily in, in tennessee not a problem at all uh but just so you know like everybody sees those you go to the store you buy some raspberries there uh everybody expects these huge raspberries anytime uh you're trying to do this at home you can't never get them as big as you get them at the store i don't care what anybody shows you or tells you um but you can't uh, that's all there is to it uh, yes they're called t-posts i couldn't think about it thanks joseph uh, so yes you can pretty much grow raspberries in maine you just gotta have mulch appreciate the gift by the way to joseph uh joseph you're my number one gifter by the way um uh, and i appreciate it a lot it means a lot um anyway so if you got any questions let me know um i know it might be boring so i apologize uh in advance uh, but again, if you are new, uh, we're doing a giveaway today of seeds. You got to follow us on Instagram. I posted a video about five days ago. It's my daughter eating blueberries. Go follow us and comment seeds on that video. And I promise you, I will reach out to you directly and just say, hey, is there anything you want in particular? That's what I've done because ain't that many people doing it. And so if you're going to stick around, I might as well reward you for it. Uh, but if you got any questions about growing your own fruit bearing plants or anything like that, feel free to ask. Uh, again, I'm making a, several videos on all that stuff right now as we speak. So anyway, appreciate everybody for the thumbs up and for the follows. And for everybody that liked and favorited and shared my strawberry gutter video, I appreciate it as well. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start planting these right now. Thank you for your time. Uh, no, not a problem at all. I'm, uh, I'm glad people have interest in this. Um, uh, need to know how to prune my blueberry bushes. Okay, when you're pr pruning your blueberry bushes, by the way, you don't need to go all the way back. Um, I may be able to cut maybe like, I don't know, six to 10 inches off of the top because all it does is just promote more growth. That's all the point in pruning is, is promoting more growth. Um, there's not much more to it. You need bigger blueberry bushes too as well, just because it takes so long for them to get that big, number one. But number two, um, they will produce, the bigger the blueberry bush is, the, the more it produces. That's kind of the typical for everybody, every plant. Um, anyway, appreciate the thumbs up, appreciate the likes. Again, follow me on Instagram. Uh, if TikTok goes away, I still got to be able to give away stuff on there. Uh, and that's kind of the way I look at it. Uh, also, I'm on YouTube as well. Again, I am literally try, I try giving away stuff any chance I can do it. And anytime someone got a question, I always try to make sure I answer. Where can I, when can I trim back my blackberry bushes? Well, you can trim them back. After you get the first major hit of frost and, and cold, cold temperatures, it really doesn't matter when, but uh, February is always a good time to start. That's that's really the truth. I'm in zone A. Yeah, um, same thing for raspberry bushes. So in ra when I'm raspberry bushes, you'll see uh, come February, I I'm going to leave these just like this. But come February, I'm going to cut them all the way down about six inches to the ground. Okay, and all of a sudden, that just promotes the growth as in hey let's start all over and yes i'll get berries on them that same year uh, they'll grow all throughout the year they'll get about two and a half feet tall maybe three feet tall they'll be trellised up and uh, come august i'll get fall gold raspberries 
Um, I'm not too, too familiar with my zone, so I apologize. All I do is just grow plants uh, based off of my area. I appreciate appreciate the, the likes, thumbs up, and the follows. Um, you can watch me. I'm sorry uh, if I don't answer um, any of your questions, but I'm going to do my best to answer. Uh, yeah, Joseph, we, we're in zone B. I, I do know that because uh, you ain't too far from me. Um, anyway, so I hope it doesn't get boring at this point. Planting fall gold raspberries. Got questions. I'm going to come back between every plant. You'll see I'm putting bone meal and blood meal in every hole, and that just gives it that little bit of nitrogen boost to get everything started up, and it'll help it throughout the winter, uh, remainder of the cold season, and all of a sudden they'll start popping up more and start multiplying all during the spring. Um, again, thank you all for, for joining I don't know if y'all can see exactly what I'm doing, but uh, just digging a hole big enough for the pot. Again, blood meal, taking a shot, throwing it in there. No exact measurements at all, none. Taking bone meal, no exact shot. Taking my plant out of the pot and just sticking it in there. Okay. And then I'm just back filling it. With everything I dug up. Now, now I've got a whole two of them. I got one there and one here. And from there, I'm going to add some mulch. And you will see, I've got some pine mulch here. And all I'm trying to do is connect the whole row. And what will happen is, is I got one fall gold Sent battery, so it went away. Um, what I recommend for established plants, bone meal and blood meal too yeah um you can i always use bone meal and blood meal because uh it's a slow release nitrogen so what happens is is you put them in the ground and about two weeks later all of a sudden they've boom especially especially during the springtime like you do it in early spring you literally put you a handful of bone meal a handful of blood meal cover them up come april um if you do it on blackberry bushes, 60 days, and they're when you start this tall, when my blackberry bushes, when they come to you, they're this tall. In 60 days, they'll be four to five feet tall if you add bone meal and blood meal. Hey, Nikki. Glad you joined me. Uh, also, y'all, uh, y'all can also follow Nikki as well. I've, I'm actually gonna send her a couple of things. She can actually, uh, she can actually show y'all some way better ways to grow things as well. Uh, if y'all don't know, this whole gardening community is pretty much, we're all in it together. Um, just because uh, we're all separate, uh, what you don't realize is we all try to help each other out. Um, so, uh, a lot of people want to learn how to live off the land, I, and I do too. Um, and I'm trying to do that every day. I'm trying to eliminate the grocery store. Um, that's all there is to it. Um, but I would highly recommend uh, following Nikki. I also tell y'all if y'all are interested in, grow, in growing your own stuff and growing your own foods, I'll tell you every TikToker just helped me out. Uh, number one on here is Gardening Indoors, uh, Chantel. She's helped me out. Anybody that's like living in a condo, in an apartment, don't have anywhere to grow, she grows stuff inside. Um, pretty neat, to be honest with you. Uh, Ariel also. Um, Grace Roots Gardening, that's one that's helped me out. I've sent her some blueberry bushes, so if you got a question on blueberry bushes, she can kind of help you out, uh, as well as, um, gosh, knows. Erica. Erica, uh, I don't want to ruin her last name, but I think if you go check on my, who I'm following, her name's Erica Nassimi, I think. That's how you, Nassima, I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, she is the queen of loofahs. 
Uh, she will. She sells Lufa seeds number one, but she also um, also sells like soaps, uh, all that good stuff. So it's pretty neat. Um, what do I do for bugs? There is a trick for bugs, uh, and the, and the tricks is uh, bluebirds. I have a family room downstairs. I have no excuse not to do this. Yeah, I have a family full room. Yeah, every time I try, they die. Uh, blueberries are not that easy, by the way. Just so you know, um, and it is hot here. Just so you, just so you know that as well. I've been outside ever since twelve o'clock, uh, but. Blueberries are not fun to grow. Even though I sell them, they ain't fun to grow. Uh, you get your most bang for your buck with raspberry bushes and blackberry bushes and strawberry bushes. Uh, everything else takes a while. I uh, will also let y'all know as well, follow me on Instagram. I will also be doing a bunch of other giveaways as, uh, on there. Uh, but in springtime, I'll have purple sweet potato plants to sell to y'all guys. Um, I will have other strawberry varieties. I will have jalapeno plants, banana pepper plants, uh, tomato plants. The whole list goes on, and I'll have them at a reasonable cost, and I'll be shipped directly to your door. Yeah, thanks, Nikki. I am sweating, but it is kind of cooling off now. We're sitting here moving to North Carolina. We live in Pennsylvania. You should move to North Carolina, and I'll tell you why. The people here are awesome. The people here are awesome. Um... trying to make sure I didn't miss nothing else I appreciate everybody liking the video getting it out there I appreciate everybody liking my strawberry video number number one because that actually got me to every one of you uh, my strawberry video never thought I'd do that good but uh, it has truly blessed me um, I am in North Carolina actually in Harnett County uh, uh, out in the middle of nowhere I have my whole entire yard fenced in only for one reason I have a dog but um, I have, if you're new here, I have one goal and one goal, uh, life goal. That is to outlive my dog. Uh, my dog is a nuisance. And I just pray every day I'm not in the ground before him. Um, we have friends in Dunn. No way. I live in Dunn. Fun fact. Um, got into plant stuff because of my kids. Just so you know, I actually um, only got in this because of my kids. If you look on my Instagram and follow me and comment seeds on my latest video, I'm actually giving away seeds as well. Um, but my latest video on there is, is my daughter shoveling blueberries. Interesting. I'll have to look that up, by the way. I appreciate it. Thank y'all, everybody, for getting us out there and getting people in here. Again, I'm about to continue planting some fall gold raspberries. I don't have much more time left on my phone. If it says 10%, I'm gonna have to go. Um, hey, Fort Bragg is only 30 minutes from my house, by the way. Um, yes, my blackberries and raspberry bushes, if you start them right now or in the springtime, they will produce this year. Uh, all you gotta do is click on my Etsy store. Everything's in my Etsy store. and. It, you should do one thing on there. You should actually go favorite the shop because I'm always posting plants at different times. And the reason why is because it'll send everybody a message that is following my store. Hey, um, Colin's got this new plant or Salty Acres got this new plant. So by the way, my name is Colin. I don't know if y'all know that or not. Um, I did not take the climate or location well. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back over here and, and continue to plant some of my stuff. Uh, again, they're fall gold raspberries. If you don't know where they are, they're the sweetest raspberry bush, literally. Um, the sweetest raspberry is 90% sugar. Again, 90% sugar, and they're orange. Um, again, the trick is growing them in, in a bed in a row and putting mulch around them. Yeah, North Carolina is beautiful. I, I, I will have to tell you, I don't ever think about leaving. Uh, hang on right quick. I'm getting some things ready for my next one. Um, all right. So, I'm just digging my next hole and trying to get ready for my next fall gold. I'm doing about two and a half feet apart. 
and I'm just making enough room for one pop. That's all I'm doing. And there's my dog. I'm just trying to outlive, just showed up. All right. Again, one scoop of bone meal, one scoop of blood meal in each hole. Take your one, put it in here. Then I'm back filling it up. It's not that hard to grow this stuff. Anybody can grow raspberries and anybody can grow blackberries with whatever land they have. You don't have to have much. One blackberry bush will give you about eight to 15 pounds of blackberries. It sounds like a lot, but in reality it's not. Yeah, got mulch right here. I'm just connecting the road, putting it all around, because what's gonna happen is the fall gold will start sprouting in between each other as soon as it starts getting warm. They will actually start multiplying and it doesn't take much. And all again I'm doing is connecting the rows because it is very important that these things have an area that promotes the growth. So if you just get them covered, they'll multiply. You just get them covered, they'll, they'll multiply. Yes, you saw my wine render. His name's Hunter. And again, all I'm trying to do is outlive him because he has been a nuisance. Um, bone meal and blood meal, that is the key. You'll see nearby every video I do, I'll have those. Uh, especially when I'm planting something for the first time out of a container, moving it to a new home and everything else. Those have to happen. I appreciate the follows. Thank you. Uh, I will post more videos on Hunter, I'm sure. Um, he has, it's been fun today, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm glad you're looking at a house here in North Carolina. I really am. Um, pretty awesome place. What kind of soil do you have? I really and truly, um, I couldn't tell you, but as far as like when I'm planting them, it's, it's literally like cow manure and peat moss. And I know some people hate peat moss. When my video for strawberries went viral, um, so many people actually hated the fact I used peat moss. Yes, I do have a lot of clay here. It's on one side of my yard, but um, where I'm planting, uh, uh, about 50 years ago, a guy had blackberries here. So, um, I will tell you, Aaron, uh, I'm glad you got wild blackberries at your house. But, it's tough to beat what I got. Um, it's tough to beat our Primark Freedoms, number one. Um, it's real tough to beat them. And it's tough to beat, uh, I don't have them listed yet. Wichita's, um, I think that's the variety. Uh, I got Arapa hose. They're also sweet. Um, and I also got um, triple crown blackberries. They're, they're pretty sweet as well. But uh, if you want to transplant your blackberries, I would recommend you do it now. And I'll tell you why. Because what happens is when your plants are asleep, is the perfect time to move them because they're not being uh, stressed out from the heat, the sun, and everything else. Yes, I'm planting today. I'm planting fall gold raspberries. I sure am. Um, and I'm also trying to give away some seeds on Instagram. Sure am. Because you're going to need seeds for your garden, and I'm trying to help out everybody as much as possible. I'm literally, all you got to do is follow, comment seeds on my latest video. You're welcome. But yeah, the reason why you try to plant now is so you, the plants can actually... Uh, have time to adjust and then all of a sudden when spring rolls around to go start popping um do i plant strawberries why don't you go see that 14 million view video i have and of me planting strawberries because <laughs> that's probably how you found me but yes i do them in gutters i don't put them in the ground because i grow everywhere um i actually show you also how to do them in gutters if you don't have a fence 
Uh, if you're in cold areas, I recommend, and I don't have them listed, but I do, I will have them listed in the next probably 60 days, and that is the Old North, uh, gosh knows it, Old North Sea variety, and uh, they do very well in the cold. Are you just doing raspberry? Yeah, I'm only doing raspberries today. Um, I moved, I don't know if you can see all this. I moved all of these. You, those are all the uh, triple crown blackberry bushes that I'm moving right now. I'm moving them out of their original home. Uh, again, I'm at my house right now, so I'll show the greenhouse another day. And I'll be doing a majority of my stuff though from my house because I think a lot of people just find need for wanting to grow their own stuff at their house. Uh, I didn't pay nothing for those strawberries. Uh, my phone's getting ready to die, by the way, so I'm gonna have to go here in the next two minutes. Uh, I didn't pay nothing for strawberries because I produced them. Uh, but I sell some as a 10 pack and they're right now and the only reason why i sell them that way is because they're already fully established the ones in the video are bare roots and i'll have those in about two weeks ready to go so that they'll be at a way better price and they're on my etsy shop so go check out my etsy shop but anyway i'm gonna have to cut it cut it here guys i appreciate it be on the lookout for my latest video i'm, I'm gonna post a video on me transplanting and moving some of these blackberry bushes into their new home as well as some of the um raspberry bushes i'm a i'm going to post a video later this week about me planting these in this row here um so i appreciate everybody for the thumbs up and the likes and the follows um if there's anything i can do for you feel free to ask me any question i will help you out as much as possible thank you guys y'all take care